Hi stitching friends, it's Amanda May with Ardith Design. Welcome back to my channel. I'm here today to you know, be the thread that helps connect historic needlework to contemporary needle art. And I wanna thank you so much for joining me for my 17th episode of Floss Tube. It is mid-November 2018. Here in uh, the Mid-Atlantic, we're gonna, looks like we're gonna get that ugly four letter word, S-N-O-W, snow. Yes, 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 I'm not ready. <laughs> and it's been a very interesting week for me. I'd love to share a little bit about my week. Then I'm gonna do a pattern inspiration inspired by my week and I'd like to show you that. We're gonna do my haul. I went to some Christmas craft fair markets this weekend in the blistering wind. <laughs> and then I would love to show you a couple of my completed patterns. They are literally completed. They are FFO'd, finished, fully, fully finished products. I am so excited. I can't wait to share them with you. And then I have a couple questions at the end for all of you. So let's get started. I was really excited on Thursday. I went to a learning class at the local college and learned how to do a wild ferment soda, which means I learned how to make a ginger soda, like real ginger soda. And I was so excited to go and that excitement quickly diminished uh, when I found out, this was Thursday of last week, that uh, my, uh, my last home before moving to Maryland uh, it burned to the ground. I lived in Paradise, California and uh, I have family and friends in Paradise and I couldn't get a hold of my family for a little bit. Um, thankfully, uh, my mom is alive. She got out with her three pugs, uh, flames on both sides of the road, going down the skyway, and she escaped. Uh, her home was not as lucky, and it completely destroyed as is most of the town of Paradise. It's a population of about 26,000 people. It's gone. It's gone. Um, so it's been very emotional for me. My mom had all of my art that I did in college and high school and um, most of my theater costumes. She had all, all, a lot of my memories. She had all my baby pictures. Well, except I, I want to say I have about 20 baby pictures, but the rest of it, all the scrapbooks, all, all of that stuff, it's all, it's all gone. Um, this week was very emotional for me. And one of the things that I did was, you know what, I channel my, channel my sadness into some productive things. And, and uh, my mom's okay. That's awesome. And the my Facebook feed is being flooded because I, like tons of my friends that I went to college with and high school with uh, have been impacted by this, by the campfire in paradise. I channeled my sadness into doing some creating stuff, going to a craft fair, just trying really hard to keep moving forward. And one of the quotes that I loved growing up I loved, uh, there's a Bull Durham quote. It's a baseball movie with Kevin Costner, Susan Sarandon. It was from the late 80s, 88, 89. And one of the quotes is, you know, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose, sometimes it rains. I, all right, moving on. I, I want to show you one of the things that I decided to make, and that was a, a cross stitch pattern. It's mostly back stitch, but cross stitch nonetheless. And this is modeled after the Black Bear Diner in Paradise, California. Black Bear there, they have several locations throughout California. And I don't know if they've moved into Oregon and Washington. I didn't look that up. But uh, this is a bear trio. So here's my original art here. 
I made a coloring book page for the kids or adults alike to color and the, the pattern <laughs> this is what it the digital rendering of the pattern and I'm gonna I'm actually gonna start stitching this I think it'll be good for me I think it'll be therapeutic uh, art therapy is a thing and it was very cathartic for me to create this design in memory of my mom thank goodness my mother is alive her house is gone but it's time to make new memories keep moving forward stay positive start all the things <laughs> all right thank you for listening to me about my week i showed you last week that i went to go vote the weather had cleared up we had had a tornado uh in our small town and one of the pillars of the community one of the farms that's been here since like 1942 it got demolished like it's just been a whirlwind of a few weeks but thankfully i have cross stitch and I'm designing and it feels really good to create and I wanted to show you my book that I briefly showed last week in a fashion it the cover art I I, I drew it all it is modeled after a turn of the 19th uh, turn of the 20th century I want to say it was like 1898 book plate Book plates were like the stamps of sticker type things that they that individuals would put inside their own library books. Usually the more affluent would have book plates and people before having man caves, before having, you know, the she sheds and the sewing rooms, like the whole sewing room type of thing. People had libraries. People you didn't sit around the TV, obviously, the TV hadn't been invented yet. <laughs> but they had the book plates and you would write, you know, my, this book belongs to such and such. So this was modeled after one of the mermaid book plates. Hello, I love mermaids. <laughs> and she is catching all of her charts, her charts, her books. Like she's like, oh, I have to organize this. And I, I have a tiny little image of what the inventory page looks like, the joy pattern that I did, and then the fancy font sampler. So in this book, it's 113 pages. And it's got the inventory, it's got 100 pages of just writing down your inventory, your patterns, uh, title, designer, the pattern dimensions, finished design size, where did you get your pattern, is your pattern in a specific project bag or storage area, important pattern details, what is the theme, are there any specialty stitches, do you need any special finishing supplies, if so, what. And then I even have at the bottom here, you can rate once you finish you you know date of when you started date of completion or the I give up date if <laughs> when Teresa kitten stitcher she goes give up don't want to do it give up you can't make me do it you know if you don't finish it or you pass the stash or whatever you know your completed date and then you can put down rating from you know zero to five stars the joy it, it was to stitch I'm really excited about it. Also in this book, I wanted, I give an example of how, um, here's the fancy font sampler. And I give an example of how to use inventory page for the fancy font sampler here. And then I have the chart printed, it's a two page chart, facing page. And then I have it repeated again all, to show you the view of all on one page. Then there is the Joy Whimsical Ornament. And here it is. I want to show you in real life, in real life, what it looks like. And thanks to Michelle Garrett, Bindi Stitchy, and her love of trivets. Hashtag, hashtag, buy all the trivets. This is my Joy Ornament, but I decided to turn it into a wall hanging. I used the Priscilla beauty method of decorative ribbons and magnets. Then I used Vanna's tutorial on the folding and I tried really hard to get my corners crisp using a, <laughs> using a knife to cut my foam core board with two small children wanting to help. <laughs> 
I, I think I just need to break down and do what Vana does, where she just orders her cardstock already pre-cut and orders foam core board already pre-cut. Because holy moly, I... Mm -mm. <laughs> I'm really excited. Like I said, I used the magnet technique and I used the washer. So I'm going to I'm going to pull it apart just to show you how I did this. I stitched it on R&R &R Reproductions linen, the coffee tea dyed, and you can see it's got some really awesome kind of agey coffee to it. Then this is Gentle Arts in dive green, and I was laughing so hard because Beth Twist was did her latest floss tube video a couple weeks ago and she made a comment that she is expanding her color palette and she goes and I I just I have to get away from endive I just you all know that endive is my favorite grain to stitch with and I am sitting there I'm literally like belly roll laughing at Beth Twist going like I just I just did two patterns not one, but two patterns that I published using the Gentle Arts and Dive. <laughs> uh, anywho, this is my finish. I have a collection of rounds from my from a friend who does woodworking. I asked if he would cut out rounds for me, and he did. So I made. I used the rare earth magnet, hot glue, and it because this is a metal trivet, it it come it goes right on. Then I got these really cool because I'm really into gnomes. I don't know if you all know that about me, but I like love gnomes. So I'm gonna do some stuff. So I have the decorative mushrooms. Hello, put a mushroom on it, and then I have the mid century deer here, and I decided to make a little pick like. Uh, uh, Kathy, Kathy Haberman just showed in her latest floss to video for her 14 months of patterns that are coming out. They're, they're really cute with this little clipboard. I'm like, I have to make that clipboard, Kathy. Oh my gosh. Anywho, she was showing how she does the ribbon with just putting the pin in it. I'm like, put a pin in it. Put a pin in it. So thank you, Kathy. And so I put on this little deer, I put him on a pin. I'm going to take this off and show you. Oh, Real life, folks. Here we go. What? Um, that magnet is strong. So here is the help wanted trivet that I got. I put the washer on. I used hot glue. I was going to use E6000 glue. It didn't happen. I used hot glue. These are the little cute, they, ca they came in like a set of eight, I think. And they were all kind of bunched together. And I love them. Then I did uh, felt backing. I did, and then I put the small magnet on my piece itself and the washer here. <laughs> All right, the next ornament I wanna show you is my fully finished Noel ornament. And I wanna thank all of you again for your tremendous uh, floss tube inspiration. I have my Rick Rack, love Rick Rack. This is the ornament that I got at the dollar store. The dollar store, I can't believe it. And then I put, um, it came with a little like a couple of the berries and then I took out of my button collection because I have jars of buttons like that's kind of another one of my weaknesses and Susie Reno posted in one of her floss tube videos oh my gosh I love Susie Reno the renews it doll Susie posted about how she likes to get the little ephemera jars with all of the like goodies and the coins and the old photos and the watches and the and I'm watching it and I'm going I do too Susie I do too can we be best friends <laughs> so I got into one of my jars of buttons and I hot glued the buttons on then I followed the Priscilla method again and I'm I'm gonna flip it the back is not as pretty as I've like it to be however real life here we go I attached it again with hot glue this is the ribbon the thick ribbon that you can get at the big box stores and coincidentally enough it is wide enough I think you could make it into a bell pole <laughs> ideas are brewing 
and I used my kitchen, the Pioneer Woman, her her kitchen, f um, the sticky, the sticky cabinet liner, cabinet liner, there it is. I used the cabinet liner on the back here, and I'm really happy with how this turned out. I wanted to put more goodies down here, and then it just started feeling cluttered. <sighs> I feel like the Rick Rack, it can be its own, like, necklace, but anywho, it's finished, and I love it. My little red glitter truck, and then the trivet, and, you know, Michelle, hashtag buy all the trivets. All right, I wanna talk about some of my haul this week. I went to a couple of the Christmas craft fairs. I went to two. I was super pleased with the two that I went to and then I went grocery shopping because, you know, real life. <laughs> and But I got some awesome craft stuff to add to my collection. I'm so excited to show you. So we're gonna start off with the starched crocheted ornament. And he's a little nutcracker. I love him. He's going to go on one of my trees. The next item, I haven't even opened her yet. She's handmade. She's Christmas Bell from Lower Vintage Artworks out of New Glo Gloucester. Out of Maine. And I love her. I might end up gifting this. I just think it's so awesome. I... Uh, so I have her. Then I got I got a little plastic canvas. It's really darling. It says joy. And they did a good job. They did the backing here. And I actually have these round plastic pieces in my craft stash. And I think what I'm going to end up doing is learning how to make dead drop buttons. No, not dead drop buttons. Dorset buttons because I need more hobbies more hobbies <laughs> anywho I, I really like these the plastic canvas they made the tassel with the yarn and then the back is nice with the red felt I think it's really awesome I love I love Christmas I love it all right the next one is this little angel and she's made with Rick Rack and I love her little face. She's got, she's made out like a cotton. She almost looks like she was made from an, a t-shirt material. And she's got hand painting, painted face. She's got her hands clasped together. She's got the yarn hair. And her bottom, it's very heavily starched. And then the pinking shears to, to cut the fabric. I've never seen an angel like this, but I really like her. Another collection, I got, <laughs> I couldn't find any trivets. And I, I mean, I put forth a valiant effort to find those trivets. Show me your trivets. Show me your porridge bowl. Show me all the things within reason. But I got <laughs> a giant wall plaque spoon. <laughs> the ladies... <laughs> The ladies were laughing at me. They were like, Amanda, Amanda, what are you going to do with that huge spoon? And I said, I'm going to finish and I'm going to put cross stitch on it. Cross stitch. I don't know if I'm going to take off this little decorative thing and put the cross stitch over this. It's hand painted by Jane. Thank you, Jane. Or put it on the back. I might put it on the back. That way I have choices for my big spoon. The next thing I found was, it was really cool too. It was actually rolled up in the kitchen napkin section. And I'm like, I don't think that's a napkin. That looks like Ada. I like, I like eyeball that Ada. You all know, you, I, I stitchers, if you, if you thrift enough or you're going to the antique stores enough, like, if you see that little of Ada, you're like, that's cross-stitch. Like, you know. You know. So, I saw this. It was all rolled up. And I'm going to show you how it was rolled. Here. I'm rolling, rolling, rolling. 
It was like this. I was like, oh, that's a cross stitch. That's got to be a cross stitch. And it had the masking tape around it. Like, hello, masking tape. I'm asking tape on everything. This is actually an empty bell pull, bell pull uh, template. So I picked that up. But th so it's like this. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a chance. I know I know there's cross stitch in there, and it did not disappoint. Look at this. I got Silent Night. I believe it's finished. I believe uh, it's got the uh, metallic silver. Bethlehem and the stitching here on blue Ada. It needs to be finished. Then I got this and I don't know who did it. I don't know if it's finished. I don't know. Well, I know it's not finished because the snowman, they don't have their eyes. But other than the eyes, I'm not sure if they're, like, what else, if there's stuff that goes on on this side but I, I love snowmen and hello. If any of you know, comment below and tell me if about, if they, if you recognize this pattern, if I can find this pattern to finish this, or if I just leave it as is and just make it into a pillow. I, I want to put eyes on the snowman, but other than that, I don't know if this is done or not. So again, if you know, comment below, tell me, what do I do? <laughs> All right, the next uh, couple pieces are embroidery, and they're stained, but I think what I am going to do, look at that butterfly. I'm thinking, and this is from one of those old school kits, the Vogart fabric, and here, I, you can probably see the staining. Uh, I wanna do a, a real quick shout out to the Upcycled Cloth Collective. They do tremendous work saving like fabrics like this that would otherwise go into landfills because of the staining. They like cut it out, repurpose, dye it, over dye it. Like it is amazing what these creators are doing. I think the group has like 50,000 people in it or 46,000 people. It's a, it's a global group. I'm a member of it. And when I saw this, I'm like this, I, I need to make a quilt, like cut these out and put them in a quilt or add fabric on top of this and make like a mixed media quilt or add doilies on top and like do a, a doily collage. But basically, you know, how can you repurpose some of these historic needle art things? I mean, that so this doesn't get destined to get thrown away. The next piece is, it's so cute. This is the one I'm like, this has to be a doll bed or baby blanket thing. Look at this little thing. Look at that, the precious little thing. Oh my goodness. And it's got the pink and the little animals, little lambs. And the chart, it says it's from Vogart, made in the United States on cotton, stitched on cotton. very cool. <laughs> that is the embroidery Then I found, as many of you know, I, I love mid-century. So anytime I can, I find mid-century ephemera or craft stuff, I'm like, yes, give it to me. I found this and they're Maryland decals, but look at that fun packaging. I just had to have it. And it's, it's interesting to see I don't know. It's just interesting. I just like this stuff. And then I got a box full of hankies. Are you ready? I feel like doing like the pretty woman thing where they like open up and they like. <laughs> As I hit my head on the art. Okay. I'm going to stop trying to be all cutesy wootsy because it's not working out. I just look like I'm fumbling around. Today's video is brought to you by. Dr. Pepper cherry. It's actually really good. I don't know. Uh, I can't have diet soda. Uh, so this is, this is good. It's full sugar. I mean, you, if you're going to drink a soda, commit. And then, and then I took that sugar, I took the sugar class last week on how to make soda naturally. And they said, you have to add a caloric sweetener. There's no like fake sugar. Like you got to feed your ginger bug real sugar. I'm like, yeah, sugar, sugar, sugar. Show me the sugar. 
Mm. I love this cool vintage box and inside are all of the really fun hankies. Some of these have never been used. We've got the little birdie. Look at this one. It's got the scalloped edges and it's the real thin and it's, I, I want to say it's machine embroidered. And I love, it's got, yes, here it is. Here's the sticker. I saw the sticker. I'm like, that's so pretty. I have to show everyone. But of course, I didn't bring a backing fabric. Sorry. Uh, the original sticker, it is uh, Carol Stanley Flower of the Hour, made in Switzerland. Wow. The next one is a gorgeous African violet. It's got the purple scalloped edges, gorgeous. Pinterest, there's a really cool tutorial on how to fold a hanky into a dress. And you display the hankies on the wall. And that's the origami fold into a dress. Here is another one, never been used, all cotton, a a quality product. I love it when they like have to really tell you that this is quality. <laughs> like Elf with Zoe De Chanel and Will Ferrell, and he takes her on the date, and he's an elf, you know, from the North Pole coming down to New York City, and the sign of this like diner, this like hole in the wall diner says "World's Best Coffee," and Elf is like. <laughs> This is the best coffee in the world. We have to go drink it. It's the best. She's like, no, it's just, it's just advertising. It's just advertising. So a quality product. World's best coffee. This one, I love this. It look, this one does look hand stitched. And it has its original sticker, all pure linen made in Ireland. I love the stickers. I love the tags. I love it. I love it. And then the last one is another African violet made in Switzerland, all cotton hanky. It is gorgeous. I have, I, I love hankies. I have a collection of Valentine's Day hankies that I, I bring out um, when I decorate for Valentine's Day. Because again, my favorite holidays are Christmas, Halloween, and Valentine's Day. The vintage Valentines, the vintage hankies, pink, 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 pink. <laughs> All right. Oh, and then my last little bit of haul. I haven't even opened it. I, I have another mystery package that I got. And I thought, if you don't mind, I'll, we'll open it together and see what's in here. I could be a dud. It could not be. My husband's laughing at me. He's like, Amanda, why are you buying these random things? I go, because I want to open them on camera. All right, here it is. I paid 50 cents for a manila envelope with da -da -da -da, masking tape. But I kind of, I peeked in and I saw some yarn. So I, I paid 50 cents at, 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 a, at a craft sale. All right, here we go. Ready? see Ada. Is that Ada? And I'm being stabbed. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, there's the needle. I just stabbed myself with a needle. It is not Ada. In the dark, it looked like Ada. Oh, how cool is this? Look, it's got the, okay, it's got, the needle is attached. All right, I'm taking out the needle. Oh, that's a big sucker. Look at that needle. This, all right, here we go. What is this? It looks like there's two identical kits. American Eagle. Awesome. American Eagle. It's got the yarn. So is this cruel embroidery? Hirsch, Hirsch Nurse. American Eagle Stitchery Pitcher. And it, oh, it's got the outline stitch, lazy daisy, satin stitch, straight single stitch, surface satin stitch, and the split stitch. <laughs> it's got all the different colors. Awesome. That is awesome. And it looks like it come. I got two of them. 
Hot dog, hot dog, hot diggity dog. All right. Oh, you can tell I have small children. Well, thank you for opening that up with me. I assume the second one, yeah, it looks like it's the exact same thing. I don't want to stab myself with another needle. Someone got two kits and never started them, and I, I understand. I'm so excited. Thank you all for joining me this week. Thank